hello welcome to my channel i'm new at doing videos so bear with me um today i wanted to do a short video on how to use the templates for the cheat bags which um i have in word format i think it's easier because you can personalize it a little bit more and i hope you, this is useful for you guys so here we go again for those that don't have it the um, file, the template, it's under my Facebook page, Bacon Craft, under the groups, and there's a files folder that I'll be uploading templates as I go. So you can find two different cheat bags templates. One titled Cheat Bags 1, which is for an older version for worse, and the second one, which is the most updated one that I uploaded today, it's obviously called Cheat Bags uh, Updated. And that one should work for every version of Word. So if you run into any issues, just shoot me a message and I'll try helping you as much as possible. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Here's a template that I have, right? And you can see that it's make or made of four shapes. Obviously one being the top, bottom and the two sides and we use the middle of the, the center the space in the middle for the front of the chip the two sides being the back obviously now the reason that I like having it in word um, format is because you can actually personalize the colors if you double click on the upper line you're gonna see the shape format tab come up and you can change from solid to gradient to picture texture to pattern feel but for just for the example we're gonna leave it in blue we're gonna do a, a let's see for a teacher like a thank you kind of gift for a teacher so here we go let's see we have all the shapes right this Again, it's just an image. When you're going to use one of those um, cold images, make sure that you download a PNG image, which will not have the white background. If you see this one, it has the white background. The reason that I left it like that is because mine didn't have color here. So, yeah, it was easier. That was the, one of the first ones that I found. And if you guys need, I can upload it on the files, just let me know. And I'm going to also upload the PNG, which will be clear in the back. So now, I have all these images. Oh, before I continue. It's also a good idea to insert a, bank, a blank page, because this is where you're going to be dropping your images, which is a little bit easier than to be moving stuff around, because remember, this is a Word format, so it will move around a bit. But if you put it in a blank page, it's easier to work with because you have to resize the images and you have to tweak it a little bit so the image is always in the front of the text. Here's my image for the nutritional facts. So if I make it smaller, see, I'm working on the blank page. You right click on it. I'm using a Mac, by the way, and this should be the same for PC, but if not, if that's not the case, please let me know, and I'll figure and I'll do a um, a video also for the back for the PC. <coughs> Excuse me. So you right click on it and go to wrap text. Usually it's chose in line with text. We're gonna use always in front of text. Now you can move it and. The image will stay obviously in the front now my image in the front is going to be thank, thank you teacher so i go and again drop that image on my blank page so let's do this one is tiny so you can enlarge and enlarge it but i'd rather enlarge it in the blank page than having all this move around and having to redo it again so we do the same process. Right click, wrap text in front of text. Okay. 
So now you can move it to the center. And you can size it to all fit the needle. Again, this template here already has the sizes, so you don't need to be worrying about that. You just make sure that your images will fit in it. That's what I like about a lot of templates also. You don't have to be like, oh my god, how, you know, what's the size of this? Oh, did I move it? No, it, this is easier. This is like, you know, foolproof. And to me, that's what works for me. It's easier. I don't have to be wasting too many times, especially if, like, most of you guys are doing dozens for a party. I mean, being personal for for sale, you don't want to be spending more than, I don't know, five minutes in doing a, a design. You know, because time is money. Let's see. We have our scan code. I decided to use this little worm because obviously it's for school, it's for teachers, and I think it is adorable. So right click on it again, wrap text, infernal text. And I'm gonna move it to the other side. You can make it Mr. Worm, you can make it bigger, you know, wonky looking, whatever you prefer. It's just actually this teacher uses glasses, so and he uses bow ties, so that was like a little joke for him. He's a nice guy. So I'm gonna make that. You can add text here, like in by text, I said like just river typing. Obviously, you can change the font like in a regular document. Thank you, teacher, for helping me grow. I, we will miss you. Yeah. We will miss you. Love. Ah, look, 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 sorry. To come back here so I miss. Love the Paris. So you can insert even a photo. Let's see a photo of my my kiddos. Um, let's see. It's one of my favorite ones that I have here. Because it was the most amazing photos I've seen in summer. Let's see, this is one of my favorite ones. And again I'm dragging it to the end to page, so it's easy for me just to resize it. I should have went into the other one, but that's fine. In front of text. So once it goes in front of text, I can drag it and put it wherever I want to. There's some people that like to do it like in the front of you know of the like the main photo I guess of the chip, like the kids birthday gift, birthday boy or birthday girl photo. You can do that. You can put this photo here, I can put it here wherever I want to. Remember, it wrap always in front of text. So now that I have that, if there's nothing else for me to add, that will be it, right? I can erase the page on the top, and everything has this little space. Everything goes in. Now, you don't have to do it because sometimes it will make move kind of too much, or you can do it if you want. I like putting everything like. And try putting in the center of the page. Because remember, this is like a, it's, this is a regular um, eight and a half by eleven. So it's like if you're you're printing a regular a regular uh, word document. So I like to have to leave this white space in the bottom because that's when you do the you know the scissors with the zigzag shape and it looks more commercial like. The chip, the chip back looks more real. Now from there you can just go ahead and print it. I personally like to group the whole thing, but in Word it's kind of tricky, so bear with me. And you choose two images or two um, shapes at the same time. So let's go further back, right click on it, group, and group. Then you go on this one. Can do this one and again group and group and so on make sure that everything gets grouped it's not like in ds that you 
first one and, and, and it gets grouped and it's perfect and not this one it's trickier and sometimes it doesn't sometimes it doesn't want to do it it's sometimes royal pain if it doesn't give you the group if it's not highlighted then it means that it's already grouped or you don't need to actually um, it's not picking it up don't ask me why it's just that's how it works So I know that this one and this one needs to be grouped. If you need it, didn't need it to be grouped, it wouldn't give you the option for you see. Still moving. So there's something. We haven't grouped this one with the top. And this one with the bottom. Again, even though that we are seeing it's it's not letting me do it. So it means that it's not picking it up. If it says some group, it's already grouped, so I don't need to do it again. Let's see, this one is fine. This one, let's see, this too. Again, you don't have to do it. I mean, I just like to do it just in case by error I just press the wrong button and I send it to print and it was wrong. But you don't have to do it, honestly, you don't have to do it. So now we send this to print. It will look like that exactly printed and then I'll put another video on how to assemble. Let me cancel this before I go. I did wanted to give you a little hint, a little tip actually on how to get images that for free, if you will. Like for example this one I got it from um, Buster My Wall. I will go into the website now. And they actually have pre-made uh, templates for every every occasion. Like you can do flyers, you can do invitations, and all every single image, every single letter, it's customizable. It's changeable. So let me show you where it goes. Sorry. See, I was trying to get all the codes, and I'll put some of them. So we go to poster my wall, postermywall.com. You can sign up into your account. Obviously, I'm already mine, and you can search templates. Let's say, for example, birthday. That's where I got this. So you have you have all these pre-made. Right, this will be great for a, for a birthday, for the chip bags, or even for the juice pouches. So you go here, you open up, you go customize, right? And every little thing that you see on a box, it's changeable, movable, everything. And I mean everything. Like for example, let's do my kid's name. So you go here and you go on this um, menu here and that's where you see the the um, the text that shows and everything. So let's look for the name. It has here Kathleen. Kathleen. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Align. 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 Edit text. Right. So I can just delete it. Sophia is turning. She's gonna be seven. She's gonna be five. I don't, like, I don't like that explanation mark because it's kind of freaky, but I guess that's how it does it. Okay, uh, so you put the address, okay, it's not in Dallas, let's say that it's Miami, Florida, because that's where we live. Uh oh, Miami, Miami, Florida. Okay. Oh my goodness, I don't even know how to stop. <laughs> Anyways, you can move, make this one bigger, or because I want the, the, the unicorn to look bigger or make it smaller. You can change the colors by clicking here. Once you decide what design you have, you can save it, right? Press save, and we'll go into your stuff. 
now. Obviously, this is once you sign up and you have your account. So if you go to Foster My Wall, right? This is all the stuff that I use. This is where I got the design for my kids, um, the other, my other kids uh, teacher. So again, everything was customized under here. I, I think it's easier than um, than, um, than Word. But anyways, so we have this here. One thing, you do have to buy the image. If you want to download the design, you see it's seven ninety nine, depending or two ninety nine. Poster quality is seven ninety nine and the photo quality. What I do, because obviously I don't want to be spending money on it if it's for personal use, but once in a while I do donate to these creators, right? What I do, and obviously I don't recommend you doing this. You know, if you really, really have to, you can go ahead and contact them and tell them, listen, you, know, you can work something out with them, tell them that it's personal use, and they will give you a better price. But if you don't care so much of the image, um, you can do, um, the 299 is for the jet printers, which is, you know, it's not bad. So you can enter, they have promotion codes, once in a while and you can put it and sometimes you even get, get it for free. What I like doing also is go back to my stuff. I'm sorry, let's go back to my stuff. Let's open this one and I just get a screenshot. Yes, or a sleeping tool. The sleeping tool, and actually I do it from the beginning. I open it again and I go to the sleeping tool. Thank you, baby. Here we go. Capture. And I click here. And I choose whatever I want to save. And sorry for the. That was kind of loud. I'm sorry. And this will go and be saved under my downloads, right? Close it. And if I wanna, let's say if I wanna remove this, you know, actually, you have to ungroup it, so let me know. Actually, I can, I can remove it. Let's pretend that I wanna change it, right? And I wanna insert a photo. Simple download, I think it's bad. Actually, it's gonna be from the slip there. Let's see where did they go? It's in downloads. Okay, so let's go to downloads. Let's go to downloads. Okay, here we go. Downloads. Slip, 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 slip. Mm -hmm. It's right here. Do you double click on it? And here we have the image. Obviously, it's zoom kind of big. So I can add this image. Right? I go to dialog and I go insert from file. Go to downloads and it will be the first one, one of the first ones. And actually, this one is titled Slip 2019-7-2. So, Slip, Slip 2019-7-0-2, which is this one. And I press Insert. Obviously, it's going to be bigger than this. So again, we go, wrap tags, in front of tags, and we move it around. And obviously, this stuff, the other stuff will move. This is just a sample, obviously, but you can do it. Yeah, so this is how easy you, you can go ahead and just change the image, you know what I mean? But just for the tutorial, so I'm going to just redo it. How about this? Okay. So I hope you guys find this tutorial helpful. 
my apologies for all the noises. I have three dogs and two little kids, my husband and a bird, so this is a full house. But anyways, I hope this video was useful. If you have any questions that you would like to ask me, just shoot me an email or a message through Facebook and I'll be more than happy to help you in whatever I can. Again, thank you so much and have a good night. I'll be posting this video as soon as I'm done with it today and I'll post the notice on Facebook. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of the week. Bye-bye.